Hey, Sean Johnson from businessprogrammer.com here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to copy a range of cells to another range within the same spreadsheet using VBA. We will use two different methods to do this, one using the clipboard and the other will write the data directly from one range to another. You will also be able to download the spreadsheet used in this tutorial. Enjoy. So we're going to copy a range of cells in Excel using VBA and the end result should look something like this. So let me just select this area. If I do control C and control V, this is what we want the code to do. It's going to take the data from here and copy it to this range. So let me talk it through the code. I, I typed it beforehand because I figured it might be just a bit too boring watching me type the code as I go. So the first thing to be aware of is that I've made use of the feature within Excel whereby the tab name of the sheet is separated from the code name of the sheet. So if we look here within the properties window, I've got the uh, sheet we're working on selected. The tab name is called the data, but I've renamed sheet one, which was what was there to CDE for code data. So what we're going to do is the first step of copying this is that we need to get a range reference to this particular range. And that's what the variable range source does. So with the line, with this line, I've said set range source equal to code data dot range A1 dot current region. Now current region is a nifty piece of a uh, nifty VBA property. It's basically the equivalent of doing this where I click anywhere within the region, then pressing my control key and my asterisk key, it selects everything that's connected to it. So in this instance, uh, I've simply done range data a one that current region gets me a range reference to this particular region. Okay, so the next step then is I created a range target variable and that's basically a variable that just points to F1. So range target is code data dot range F1. And then to execute this, we simply do range source dot copy range target. So let, let me just step through this. So clicking in the routine, I press F8 to go into debug mode. And so I, once I step through range, the first line, we get a variable for range source. Now we can check that by just typing range source dot select into the immediate window. And you can see it's selected this. Now you, anybody who's seen quite a few of my videos know I don't like select, but this is just for testing purposes. So that's cool and hunky dory. So now if we test, if we execute range tar, if we execute this line here, which is range target, set range target equals code data dot range F1, execute that. Now, if we test that variable, you can see it's set up correctly. The code went to, the cursor went to F1. So now I simply just execute the copy and you're done. Now, I guess you could call this for extra credit. Let me just drag this over slightly. So now we can issue another VBA command. So this is telling the current region to clear. Now what this will do is it will delete everything here. So let's watch this. Range target that current region that clear F8 and it's gone. Now there's another way of that. There's man the cool thing about Excel VBA is it's object based. So when you manipulate the objects, you're writing a lot more concise and editable and bulletproof code. So what I'm doing here now is I'm saying take the, so this is just another way of doing it, take, write the contents of range source into range target. So what I've done is I've said range target, which refers to this particular cell F1 and resize it, resize it by the, the amount of rows in range source, which you can see is six and by the columns three. So what it's going to do is it's just going to resize this range to here, the six rows and by three columns. So six rows, three columns. And it says right into the into a selection of that size, the value of what's in range source. So let's do that. And it's done it. So if I just to show you it, it had nothing to do with selections, if I put my cursor down here, 
and I execute that line again, you can see it's just written it in. This is much more elegant than using the clipboard because sometimes I worry that if you have a, an application which has been used by users and it stops at various points or you're trying to edit it, if somebody presses escape or whatever, they can clear out the clipboard possibly. So this basically is a little bit more bulletproof and a little bit more elegant. Uh, what took three lines to do there uh, was executed in one line. So you got two options to copy um, cells within an Excel range. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean Johnson. You can get the spreadsheet with code that goes with this video at businessprogrammer.com forward slash go forward slash 100. Business Programmer covers business programming and business process automation, data and marketing issues that are of interest to entrepreneurs, startups and go-getters of all kinds. I cover data management and automation topics such as Microsoft Office macros and macro programming, open source and free office products such as OpenOffice and LibreOffice and their macros. I also cover Python programming for business as Python can be an excellent glue between systems that normally would not talk to one another. I also cover web topics that are of interest to startups and people wanting to bootstrap their own business. If this sails your boat, then subscribe to this channel and don't forget to get your copy of this spreadsheet and other code sheets I have at businessprogrammer.com. Thanks for watching.